Have you tried using Perplexity Ad yet? It's a really powerful research and answer engine, and I found it's super smart. Amazon founder Jeff has invested in the company. Navita CEO Dan Sen uses it daily. So in this video, I'll share the unique features that you should know about Perplexity AI and how you can use it particularly for content research or just boost your daily productivity in researching, because this is what I found is strength. So what is Perplexity AI? Think of it like ChatGPT plus Google. Perplexity is a conversational search engine powered with AI using its own AI models, GPT-4, Clock. You can ask it anything, just like a chatbot, but it's more than a chatbot. It has access to the internet and can put information to give you the answer. So in this case, it's also like a search engine, but what's the real deal? So in traditional search or Google, you type in your keywords and then you will go through each top search result, looking through the pages and find the answer. While on Perplexity AI, all you need is typing a question and then it will start gathering different operative sources and summarize for you and give you the answer directly. And what makes it so amazing is super smart. It can understand your questions so accurately. And now let's have a quick tour of the tool. Basically, once you're on Perplexity, you can start using it without creating an account. But I still encourage you to create an account. It will unlock more great features that I'm going to talk about. Once you type your question or topic, then it will pull information from different sources, including images, videos, and structure the response to you. You can click here to view all the sources that it use. So you can dive deeper into any of them if you want. And personally, I really like the interface is clean and simple. You can also share your response with anyone with a link. They can immediately access the response without registering an account. So similar to what you can get from Gemini AI. You can also simply copy the response and paste to any editor for further editing. If you want, you can then type any follow-up questions or pick any follow-up questions from a related question section, which I found very useful to get inspiration. It also lets you search for videos on YouTube or images about the question. Now here comes the best unique features that I really like. The first one is pro search. Whenever you are on pro search, it will try to understand your question and sometimes it will ask you more questions to make sure it get your question right. So compared with a normal search, the response will be much more comprehensive, detailed, and it shows what keywords it used to search from the web. You can easily turn on pro search mode by clicking the rewrite function or when starting a new conversation. But note that on free plan, you only have five pro queries every four hours. But I found it's not too bad because most of the time I found the normal search is more than what I need. So make sure you give it a try. The second one is the search focus mode. It is used to fine tune the results by focusing on particular sources like academic papers, YouTube, Reddit. So the default is all. That means searching across the entire internet. It is available to both free and pay subscription, no limitations. And this is so useful whenever you just want your search result to be gathered from a particular source. And to use the search focus feature, you just hit the focus option whenever you start a new thread and then click the desired options from a drop down list. For example, what are the best places to visit in Vancouver? Then select Reddit to focus on the discussion thread. And then you can see it will pull all relevant ready phrase about the topic and give me the response. Unlike normally, I need to go through every phrase on Reddit. It saved me so much time. Another unique feature is the collection. It allows you to organize your conversation into different categories or themes that you define, and you can customize how perplexity should structure response based on your instruction. So let's say I can create a collection, AI search collection. Then I can add a description, and now here is the most important part. You can customize the prompt here. So whenever you're doing the search within this collection, it will follow the instruction you define here automatically. Perhaps it's about the format, or particular information you want it to focus on. And then you can see it's following my instruction and generating a response that I desire. Whenever you need to start any new conversation for your collections, you can just go back to the library and click the collections that you created. And you can also share with other contributors or keep it private, which is very useful if you're using it for a research project. Another unique feature is that you can access different AI models, which is absolutely makes it out 
outstanding, like Perplexity own model family sauna and the latest GPT 4.0 model by OpenAI Cloud 3, so you can always get the best response. But note, you must upgrade to the paid subscription to access these models. But I would say if you are a heavy user, it's worth it. In the Perplan, you can even upload images along your query, so Perplexity will use it as a source to make the response more accurate. Now let's talk about the use cases, and I found with a strength in doing research, it's definitely a really powerful productivity tool for your content planning or creation process. A really powerful use case I found is to ask it to generate related topics by analyzing Reddit threads. And because these are discussion threads, and so they're really specific compared to what you would get from ChatGPT or Gemini, you can use them to improve the context for content and increase the depth. For example, assume I'm planning a blog about gym intimidation, I can ask it to use the Reddit data source with the focus mode and give me a list of common questions that people are also asking related to gym intimidation. The response is really good because as you compare with ChatGPT, they are definitely more in-depth, specific where you can use them to supplement your content creation. Not necessarily for blogs, but perhaps YouTube or other social media. Now you can take a step further and ask it to generate a list of top keywords where you can put in to your content to improve the overall context and relevance. And I would say the response is really good because they are generated from almost real-time data. So it is always targeting to what people are asking. So it saves you lots of research time going through the top search results and doing the analysis yourself. Another powerful way is to use it to gather research data to improve your content depth because all these data can help to make your content more insightful. Basically, Perplexity is like a powerful research engine. You can ask anything related to your topic and it helps to summarize the information for you. For example, I can ask it to give me a list of relevant statistics about gym intimidation and ask it only to use data from reputable and authoritative sources to ensure the accuracy. You can also ask it to focus on web sources if you want. So you can see it's instantly returned a list of statistics to support my content. And it also follow my instruction to use reputable media sources from news publisher associations. So this will help you save tremendous time in researching all the background information that you need to know or write about the topic in your content. And not only statistic, you can also ask it to give you different leading expert opinion about the topic so you can further supplement your content and make it highly relevant. Another way is to use it to generate content outlines, but unlike using the free ChatGPT or Gemini for outline creation, you can also ask it to give you the suggested stock image search result page because it can access to the internet and this really sets it apart. For example, I'm planning an article about the Vancouver Trip Planning Guide 2024, then besides asking it to generate the outline, you can also ask it to indicate where I can put images or media and even suggest a stock photo search link to save my time. Alternatively, you can also ask it to give you the top search results and do some competitive analysis. It's pretty similar, but it will directly pull the top results to you. For example, back to this blog article, I can ask it to give me the top 10 search results related to the topic, and then summarize a list of topics they have in common in their body content. Then I can take that as a reference and follow the same. And a bonus here is you can create collections and customize the prompt, so it will always follow the same format information when you research. Another way is to ask it to include external links where you can include in your blog posts because sometimes you want to include external link as a useful reference to your readers so you can fully utilize these features. Now another powerful way is to ask it to summarize any PDF reports, images. Oftentimes as digital marketers, we need to do client presentation or reports and put in market information. Now you may wonder how we can upload images to perplexity without going to the pro version. And there are two ways to do it. That. The first way is to copy any image URL or PDF report that you can find from the internet. For example, I have this image about the retailer market share from Statista. So right click and copy the image URL address and then paste back on perplexity and ask it to summarize the image and only use this as the source. Boom. So you can see it just helped me to pull the key findings from the chat. Very useful if you need to prepare findings from any trials, images, and I have also tried using multiple images and it works just fine. 
But keep in mind, if your images or chat doesn't have much text like title, then it's best to provide some more context and prompts so it can understand your question better. And not only for images, it also works for PDF reports. For example, I have this report and I can paste the link and ask it to summarize all the key findings. And it's pretty accurate and precise. And now you can even ask it to rewrite with ProSearch and it will give you a much detailed response to use in your report or presentation or whatever content you're producing. The second way is to first upload to Google Drive. For example, I have this chart and I can first upload to Google Drive. That makes it accessible to anyone with the link and then copy the shareable link. And now the trick here is to rephrase the URL in the format that Perplexity AI can recognize or else it will prompt you with the right format. So you will see it will give you what it analyzed from the image. But keep in mind that for now, I found it works only for simple charts or graphic and you need to give it much more context. If you're using pro versions, let me know in the comments what your experience and if the response would be different because you can upload the image. If you also have a YouTube channel for your brand and need to consistently create content, then another useful way is to ask it to analyze your YouTube videos and summarize the point that I mentioned. So you can take it as a reference as you plan the same topic for YouTube content creation because perplexity can retrieve YouTube search results. So you should fully utilize this feature. For example, if I'm planning a video about meditation for beginners, then I can ask perplexity to retrieve some top YouTube results and summarize the content in bullet points. Sometimes it may not work for all the videos results, but it's the rare case. And I found it mainly pulled those either big YouTube channels with over 100,000 subscribers or videos that have lots of views. So the response would be pretty accurate. And you can also instantly see what are the video titles that they use to get some inspiration. But I would say the amazing part is it helps to analyze the content for you in a minute and then you can quickly get an idea of what are some key topics you should cover before you dig deeper yourself into each of these videos. It also has a Chrome extension, so you can use it to summarize any key insights on any web page. On any page, you can just click the summarize button and it will immediately pull the key information for you. Super useful when I'm doing my content research on Google or just doing some self-learning. Another way is to initiate new conversation anytime you're doing Google search, so you don't need to go back to the perplexity platform back and forth. You can even specify to search within this domain, this page, or the entire web. So this tool is super handy because you can simply access Perplexity anytime if you want. If you haven't tried Perplexity AI yet, make sure you do so. It's definitely a great companion along your day-to-day -day research tool like Google. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you want more content like this. And lastly, make sure you watch my video on how to humanize AI content if you're actively using all these AI tools for content creation. See you soon.